cataractcoach.com. Potent topical anesthesia in just three drops. Using topical chloroprocaine for anesthesia in ocular surgery. Now, the medication here is called Ihezo. It's chloroprocaine 3% gel. It's preserve free. You can see the gel that goes on the ocular surface here. And the nice part is it's just about the right viscosity, not too thick. It actually coats the ocular surface very nicely, even prevents it from drying out once the anesthesia kicks in. The drop here comes in a single dose vial there. Medication inside is sterile. You can twist off the cap there, put a drop in the eye for that patient, and then put the cap back on until you instill the next drop for the same patient here. Very convenient, easy to use. Here's looking at the package insert. And if you look here again, the dosing is three drops per patient for ocular surface anesthesia. Adverse reactions, interestingly, more than a quarter of the patient got midriasis. So that's actually very helpful for our cataract surgery to have some midriasis. Very efficacious in the clinical trials. You look at the trial results here. Patients got anesthesia in about 40 seconds for the ocular surface, and that lasted between like, let's say, 14 to 20 minutes. So very efficacious, easy to use. And again, I like that it's preservative-free and gentle on the ocular surface, and the gel helps coat the eye. Now, I give the first dose here in the pre-op area. So before the patient's brought back to the operating room, we instill a drop of the chloroprocaine in the eye to begin the anesthesia. So here he is in the pre-op area. There's the drop going there on the ocular surface. And you can see as the patient gently blinks that around, it nicely coats the entire ocular surface. And so that's dose one. And then I give two more doses. So again, it comes in this sterile packaging. So the medication inside is sterile. The container is not. And again, it's one per patient, so single use. So once the patient's in the operating room, I do my timeout, and then we place another drop. Now, this is an interesting patient here. So this patient actually is going to get a scleral tunnel incision. So I'm going to put another drop in. I put a total of three drops, one in the pre-op area and two in the operating room. Three drop total. You can see there's the drop going on the ocular surface. And again, this patient I'm going to show you is going to have a scleral tunnel, and yet this is enough. The topical chloroprocaine is enough to give good anesthesia. You can see a little hyperemia there, which is normal. And here's that same patient. There's no retrobulbar block, no peripulbar block. This is just anesthetized with the topical IHESO. So you can see they're making the incision. We can even do cautery. And we can achieve this, again, with the patient being very, very comfortable. We do typically give some intravenous sedation, though not a whole lot. We typically give one milligram, sometimes two milligrams, of midazolam in the intravenous IV line. Midazolam in the U.S. is also called Versed. That gives some good sedation. Here you can see patients are very comfortable, no issue at all with even doing cautery on the surface of the eye. And here comes the scleral tunnel. If you look at the uh, eye, you can see the cornea has 16 RK cuts, some of which are like double cut. And so certainly we can't make a corneal incision in this patient for cataract surgery. We have to do this scleral incision. And this patient was very comfortable throughout the case and even at the end of the case where we sutured the incisions using... Um, 10 nylon for the sclera and a Vicro for the conductival surface. You can ad put additional installations of the same drop in the eye should you wish, but I found that three drops spaced apart is really sufficient. Here now using a diamond keratome, entering that scleral tunnel and now entering the anterior chamber. And again, patient's very comfortable. Even holding the conductival with the 0 0.124 forceps, patient has no pain. So I think it's a very efficacious drop. I encourage you to check it out. If you're using some other top anesthetics, I think you may enjoy this one even more so. It's going to make your surgeries a lot more comfortable for your patients, and I think you'll appreciate the gel formulation, which gives a little medriasis in some patients, also protects the ocular surface, and patients have a beautiful outcome with cataract surgery. Again, it's indicator for ocular surface anesthesia, so you may also want to use it for other things such as intervitreal injections or other types of surgeries or procedures. Thanks for watching.